So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one may be not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. shouldn't have as they get him behind the line so he loses three yards there now third down Let's go. on third down it's Elliott and he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield 12 yards there as they move the chains now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys up to make a lot of tackles. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Give them nine yards on the second down screen play. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Touchdown! A great play there, 40 yards. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. This will be taken short. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. First and ten, Cunningham. And his throw here is incomplete. So second and ten here. To throw again, Cunningham. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gonzalez. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. The reception good for seven. It's third down. From the gun on third down. Cunningham caught on the right side. Reed. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Back to throw. Cunningham. His throw caught right around the six. And he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. 
That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Down the numbers. There he goes. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what'd you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen. Steal a possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. And he motions the wide receiver. And some room to run now. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So here we go, first and ten now. Instead, he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Let's go! Three, two! Three, two! Let's go! Second and goal to go now. They'll try again with Elliott. And they're going to get him down, but not before a pretty good run right there. It's a good pickup on the ground of seven yards, and time has run out on this third quarter. Back now at Lambeau. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and goal. Let's go! Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Now, this feels like old school football because this has turned into a good old fashioned goal line stand. So, on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? And Zerline's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. And you figure with that, this game's pretty well out of reach. It would take a heck of a comeback at this point, being three scores down. I think that's too much to ask with time winding down here in the fourth. It's a very short kick, taken right at the 20. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. And here now the offense heading back out there. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Terrence Newman with a pick. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, Throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Let's go! They give it off here to the tight end. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, 
your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Chance to pitch that one as he swallowed up in the backfield. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 17. Let's go! After the penalty, it's Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Fourth down, here's Taylor. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the five yard line. The decision to go for it pays off and now they're set up first and goal. Five yards to go for the offense. First down and goal from that five yard line. Let's go! 10th carry now for Elliott. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Second and goal from the two-yard line. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. They'll go with a keeper, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Michael Vick taking it in. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And this is no good. Boy, that didn't even get there. Not a good effort at all. And our score remains the same. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you.